Okay, you look like in uh, terrific shape. How do you work out? How, you, how do you keep in shape? How do I keep in shape? By training about four or five times a week when I have full time. That's why I like to stay in the same location. You know, you get accustomed to your routine, morning, then go to the gym, come back, eat well, watch a movie, and study some scripts. Watching a movie is, is kind of your uh, working out? Yes, mentally, yes, because you go into something which you try to believe if it's good. And when you believe into the part, it's, the, it's like a speed of thought. More you're thinking at the speed of thought, which is very fast, more you're becoming that part. And then from that character, you'll have to train or not, depending on the part. But I want to go back to training, so when I train somewhere, I'm happy, but now I've got to leave to hotels, to promotion. It's very difficult with the traveling time and you're tired to train and to do location and promotion and everything. So the best way to get a good body and to be very fit is to be in a training camp for four or five months. Are there uh, moves that you some that maybe are harder to do now that you are turning 50 harder to, to do than when you started out? Uh, it's we have to be careful with the stretching because uh, the tendon and the muscle are not as good qualities as before because uh, the uh, the uh, degeneration of the uh, cells body they're not reproducing as fast when you were young. And so you have to bring a lots of oxygen, a lots of rest, which I'm not doing so much. How about your trademark, that uh, 30, uh, 360 degrees kick? Yeah. Now we'll have a new one called the screwdriver. How does that work? It's a mean one. One time you touch, one time you fall. Anything you can show right now? No, I, I, I'm afraid to show that also because I fight uh, some wreck in March. Oh, so it's going to be a surprise for him. A uh, surprise for him and for everybody else because uh, that's all I have against him. The guy's Olympic gold. He, if, if he put me in the corner of a ring, he's going to knock me out. <laughs> so I hope it's going to be a, a happy surprise for him. Is the real fighting something you missed when doing movies? Absolutely. Because when I watch those fights on uh, MMA, Spike, uh, K1, uh, Fiji, uh, Japan TV, it's amazing. Because when I start fighting, I fought in those uh, school studio, you know, like bad roof, the, the, the water was leaking in a bucket. If a guy get touched on the face, where's the nurse? Where's the nurse? It was like badly organized. But I fought when I was 16. So I was like very scared because in my country, Karate was like for the 27, 30, 31 years old people. We didn't have them. At that time, we didn't have karate uh, for uh, kids. So I was the, the, the little guy with a mustache and whoa, 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 you know? That's why maybe I became so flexible because <laughs> I, I wanted to touch their face all the time. Are you going to divide your time between uh, Hollywood and uh, the, the actual ring? Cannot. What I'm going to do, I'm going to shoot first with family and friends around me uh, a, a TV uh, reality show like the Osborne, but it will be on the location. So you'll see all the family in and out between the movie, the training, the this, the yelling, the da da da. Cool. And after that, we have that TV show finished, the shooting of it. We put this in a freezer in a box. We close the box, we put the key in the hand. Then I start the fight scene, for real. Bye bye family, bye bye children, bye bye anything. It's a camp, right? And then they're gonna mix the training with the life of Van Damme in Cannes, uh, drinking too much vodka, yeah. And then suddenly you cut to bam, 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 bam. His face is like this losing a lots of kilos, they'll see, wow, this, this movie star is, is taking us to a ring to show that blood sport can be real. Win or lose situation, it will take away from my life all the mental scar, not physical scar, but the mental scar of what happened to me in the past. 
because if I can go, if I can go into a ring and fight in the audience, they will see the TV show. Wow, this guy's for real, you know, with the injection on the knee and the hips and the this and the that. I don't do this for fifty thousand dollars TV show. I make millions per movie, so in two years I can pop out, pop up, like they're saying, pop up, two movies, to lots of money. But a TV show only pay fifty thousand per episode. But we got. That's right. Anything you'd like to say to your Swiss audience? Yes, I mean I'm here only for one day. I came in last night. I ate. I've been in Switzerland, Geneva, a couple of years ago. In Zurich, I'm sorry, years ago, about 15 years ago. And I came back maybe for promotion between that. I've done so many countries. But hopefully I will have the time to see some of Basel. You know? But they're saying it's more quiet here than, uh, than uh, Zurich. It sure is. It sure is, yeah. But the people are very relaxed, huh? Oh, yeah. And it's very clean here. I didn't see a piece of paper on the street uh, yet. Kind of Swiss tradition to keep everything clean. The only problem, you're never in time. Oh, we're not? <laughs> would, you, 